A very important concept to understand when programming in C-sharp is the concept of the heap and the stack. Value types such as integers are stored on the stack. Object types are stored on the heap, and pointers to them are stored on the stack. In this lesson, I explain this concept with an example and a diagram and demonstrate the dangers that await you if you do not understand this concept. Let's start with an example of changing the value of an integer. So we have a score that is 95. And then we say score 2 equals score. So score equals and score 2 equals this. Score, score 2. So what's that going to show us? Probably 95 and 95, right? Yes, 95 and 95. And that only makes sense. But let's say we have a class. And this class is called report. And let's say the class has some properties, uh, title and description and pages. And the report can display itself with a method called display. Um, return, let's say, the title, the description, and the pages, which is this. So description and pages. All right, and now we can create a, a report. Report, report equals new report. And let's see, the title equals first report, and description equals this is the first report, and pages equals 11, for instance. So now we have a report, and let's display the report. Report display. So what do we see? We see the values of the report. Fair enough. Now, just as we copied score here, we're going to copy report. So we're going to say report, report2 equals report. So after we do that, control X, control V, we're going to display report and report2. And what should we see then? Well, we should see the same data, right? Yes, because we copied the report. Makes sense. Now, just as we change the score above, let's change the report here. So above we change the second score, and now we'll change the second report. So we'll say report to, for instance, pages, instead of 11, is going to equal 999, for instance. Now, let's display these reports. What do you think you'll see? You might think that report has 11 pages. Then we copied report into report two. Then we change the pages in report two. So report should have 11 pages and report two should have 999 pages. Let's see. They both have 999 pages. Why is that? So let me explain what happened in the previous code. When we created the value score, which was an integer, what happened? was on the stack, a variable was created, and the value of the variable was 95. Fair enough. Then we said score2 equals score, which made a copy of this value and assigned it to the variable name score2. So then we had two variables here. Then we changed the value of score2 to 97, which left the value of score to remain the same. Now let me show what happened when we created the object and copied it. When we created the object, what happened was an object was created on the heap, and that object had properties. The properties were title equals first report, description equals this is the first report, and pages equals 11. Then a pointer, or a variable, was created on the stack called report, and it pointed to the object on the heap, so that when we made a copy of report, when we said report2 equals report, what happened was a copy of this variable 
on the stack was made and it pointed to the same object on the heap. So when we changed pages of report 2 to 999, what happened to pages of report 1 or report? It also changed to 999. That's a very important concept to understand when you're working with objects, passing them around and copying them. The rule to remember is that classes get saved on the heap and there are pointers saved on the stack which point to those objects. But if you create structs instead of classes, then the structs get saved on the stack. And let me show you that in code. So let's run this again. And what we're looking at is we have report and report 2, both of which pages are 11. And then we change report 2's pages to 999. So we would think that report is 11 and report 2 is 999. But as we saw, both report and report 2 change their pages to 999. And we understand that now because the object, which is a class, is stored on the heap in one place. And both report and report 2 point to it. So they both have the value of 999. Now, if we change class to struct and run it again, then report will retain its value of pages since report, which is a struct, is stored on the stack and report 2, which is a struct, is also stored on the stack individually. And we'll see that this is true. And there it is. Report is still 11 pages and report 2 is 999 pages. So you now understand the difference between the stack and the heap, and you understand the difference between a class and a struct. There are other differences, but the main difference of concern to us now is that the struct is stored on the stack and the class is stored on the heap. Now there's one other concept connected with all this, and that is passing by value and passing by reference. And let me show you an example of that. So we have this program here. We have a static method main, I'm going to say, make me a new method called static void process, process it, and send a score and send a report. And change these variables. So on the report, we're going to change the pages. Now, what we're going to do is just say, process it, and send in score and report. Now what is score and report? Score is 95, and report, if we take away all of this, control K, C, and report has pages 11. So we have 95 and 11. And let's make sure this is a class. Struct is a class. So score is 95, pages is 11, and we're passing them in. Let's look at them before and after. So we'll print out score and the pages of the report before and after. So before we know that pages or score is 95 and pages is 11 for certain. Then we're going to pass them into process it. And what do you think is going to happen? You might say, well, nothing because this is a local scope and what happens in here with S and R doesn't have anything to do with score and report. Well, let's see. Behold, before process it was executed, score was 95, and the object pages was 11. And after processing it, score was still 95, but object pages had changed. Why was that? The reason is because this is an integer. It is passed by value. And because this is a class object, it is passed by reference, which is the same concept that we had above. And just as above, if we change this to struct, then these values are not touched, as we can see here. We covered in this lesson the difference between heap and stack, class and struct, and passing by reference and passing by value. Important concepts to understand if you want to always be certain when the values of your variables are changing and when they're not.